Hey yo, it's official, season 3 just got leaked, and the new trailer is officially out, and keep on watching guys to see the new trailer. Before I get to any of that, most of you guys aren't subscribed, so make sure you hit that subscribe bell, and let's get to 9k. Our end goal is 10,000 subscribers, so help me reach that by clicking the subscribe button, and make sure to type in code TECHWIDGE in the Fortnite item shop. So here is the trailer actually guys, if you just want to watch it, here you go, I will pop it up on screen, and here for you to enjoy. And guys, if you're just here for the trailer, well, there you go. That is the trailer. But if you want to watch more and know more about Season 3, what's upcoming in the next couple of weeks, keep on watching till the end of this video. So, first of all, we have the, you're going to be able to ride sharks. Sharks are actually going to be a new vehicle. With the water theme, I did wonder if we would get some jet ski type of vehicle to join boats because it's like all flooded and everything. Sharks would be an interesting concept for a vehicle. And they have already appeared in Season 3 posters. So I'll pop some posters up and season 3 actually might have sharks that we can ride.
And there are also going to be mini games in the plaza from skydiving to parkour to boat racing. These are going to be awesome in the middle of a game. You can actually just really like race anyone that you want. And if you don't already know from the hints that have been given these past couple of days, the main theme of the season is going to be water. This is more or less config confirmed given the teaser posters that have um, data mind shown flowing houses and sharks. It stands to reason a good chunk of the map could end up flooded and as a result some catastrophic. So I'll pause some posters up on screen. That is actually what it looks like. Floating houses and sh flying sharks and just uh, meals, like it's all pointing to water guys. And it says no sweat insurance. So really I the buildings might be coming back from tilted towers where you couldn't break anything. So sweat so no sweat insurance. So you, if you kind of get the connection there. And there are also going to be phone booths where you can change your skin mid-game. We've already seen a sneak peek of this in Party Royale. Because if you go to, into Party Royale, there's actually a booth in there that you can change your skin mid-game. It's a bit laggy for console players, but it's experientially smooth for PC players with uh, good graphics. So, guys, get ready to change your skin mid-game. So, if you don't want to get stream sniped, if you're a streamer or something like that. So, that's a big plus for streamers there's also going to be a female black knight it seems kind of involved like an odd time to introduce this into the game but we're not sure if it's a battle pass skin or not but it is data mined so it is confirmed there's a picture on Midas's desk of a girl that is a new battle pass skin. I'll pop a picture up on screen. There is indeed a, such a picture there, if, and it's not clear if this is Midas's wife or daughter. He looks too young to have a daughter that old, and I see tattoos. Probably not just a female gender flipped version of Midas. However, though maybe we will see one of these some days as we usually do. So most of these rumors or leaks are probably right. The water theme is confirmed, guys. It is confirmed. That is definitely going to be right. But these couple ones are, they have like a 60% chance. There's going to be a skin that's blend of Technique and Dark Voyager. Again, we're not sure on this one. Fortnite doesn't revisit old skins. They don't like to revisit them. I suppose we can have two different versions of Technique and Dark Voyager already. The secret battle pass skin is going to be Aquaman. So we have the gold versions of skin this battle pass. It's actually going to be Aquaman. So they might actually team up with Marvel and I don't know what um, company owns Aquaman the copyrights to that but there actually might be another promotion like star wars and marvel so shadow is gonna meet when the agency like duh shadow's definitely gonna win and there's gonna be a customizable umbrella so every season we get an umbrella for winning one game and i wouldn't be surprised to see fortnite play around with the customization after my this past season so we got awesome customization this season by customizing Maya. We really wanted to customize a skin and Fortnite actually listened for once and they actually let us customize a skin. And we might actually get to customize a glider and then it could go to, to a back bling and then it could go into a contro and then much much more. And there's actually going to be a flare gun guys that does what? It calls down a care package lights people on fire. This is going to be absolutely awesome and it is confirmed by hackers and I think Fire Monkey also tweeted out, this is going to be one of the best guns. I hope it's not OP, but I hope it's kind of balanced out, but I would love to see this in-game. Comment down below if you would too. And there's also going to be something involving Fireflies. I don't know, Fortnite um, hackers saw that, but really guys, that is the main points of this Season 3, Chapter 2. And that's just a little bit, the skimming the top. I'm going to make a detailed video on it later. But this is just what we know so far. There is much, much more to learn about this season. But this is just what we know as of right now. So I'll see you next time, guys. And I hope this video helped you out knowing what's actually going to be happening. And I hope to watch till the end. I'll see you next time. And peace out.